Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to do the TIE portal export in the new Cimatic SD format, then edit the code in the VS Code using the additional extension, and then import back the updated code. Here, I have a simple project setup. On the left hand side, there's a ladder block. Here is some sample code, and here I have a FBL log motor from the Siemens of the Open Library block instantiated. You can see that it has a static memory, and I have connected some inputs outputs, those structures for the HMI control and valve controls, and errors are available in the DB motors, and I have created here about twenty instances just for the demonstration purposes. Mm. And now what I would like to do is to close the project in a state it's currently. Now open the PLC Wars exporter, select the project path. I'm going to open the same project that we have just seen on the screen and then select the export path. I have two folders on the desktop, which are empty. I'm going to first export the files to the folder. Yes to all. At the bottom bar, you can see which blocks have been exported. Okay. And here within the folder, you can see all of the exports. Now, let's go to the visual view code. Let's open this folder. It's just the export. Here, I have an add-on already installed and enabled with the, with the extensions. Here is the Cimatic S7. which I'm working on currently. And we can see one of the features is the syntax co coloring. So normally if it would be disabled, all of the text here would be white. And this is the re representation of the code we had visible in the TA portal. And here is the L-Log motor block code. In the dot S7 res, here are the network comments. And another feature here, let's say we would like to have more instances of the motor block and instead of manually doing and connecting them, as I have an example here, I'm going to select it starting before the block with the comment language and the block and then right click and just select generate function block instances. I would like to then more instances, and you can see that they have been generated successfully. All of the attacks also increment the names, so it will match our structure in the in the data block. The network titles are automatically generated. And in the other file, you can also see the network comments. So in the PLC, we actually had 20 instances, so we can create more. Also in case if I would highlight it wrongly, not everything, I'm going to get an error. Let's create uh, nine more blocks. And as we can see, they have been added. So I'm going to save those changes to those both files. Now let's go back to the 
TA portal block manager. There, I'd like to use the same project, and I'm going to import to TA portal. And now I have to select the files I would like to import. So I actually can use those two files. So this was the PLC one block, and the other extension file is uh, automatically imported. Okay. It's going to import only this one block. It says it imported it and the project has been saved. And now to open the project, we actually have to close the exporter. Let me open the project. It will collapse all of the networks. And as we can see, we have 20 instances of the motor block call. It's also here in the static memory. There are no errors. 